John Carlson, and I am the lawyer for Damon Mitchell. And what's your reaction to the verdict today, the acquittal for Mr. Mitchell? We're ecstatic. We put a lot of hard work into preparation for this trial. I've been saying all along that my client wasn't there and this was a case of mistaken identity and nobody seemed to want to listen. Uh, and so here today at this, at this trial, there's no doubt that the jurors were listening. Uh, this was a rush to judgment on behalf of the police and the prosecution. And again, like I said, mistakes were made and nobody wanted to own up to it. What do you think convinced the jury? Uh, the totality of the facts. I think it was the totality of the facts. I mean, there was a lot of things that weigh into it, the considerations here. If you look at one piece of evidence or two pieces of evidence, it might be easy to jump to conclusions, which I think is exactly what happened here. However, when you look at the totality of the circumstances and really dig down deep, you, the evidence becomes clear that DeMond wasn't there and they're mistaking him for somebody else. So the real culprit's still out there. And what happens now for Mr. Mitchell? Oh, thank goodness for him. You know, he spent the last two years in jail, lost at least, at least 2% of his life, if not more, uh, behind bars for a crime he didn't commit. He'll be released and uh, God bless him.